In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to learn more about statistics. And you can use 3.5 or the plus version. The plus version is definitely better, but 3.5 is still pretty good. I'll use plus because I have access to it, just the default. And I'll ask it something basic like, what are the purposes and distinctions between t-tests, regressions, correlations and ANOVA. And it comes up with some very useful results. I've gone through and read these explanations many times and they're very good. Apparently there's quite a bit written about statistics that it has read. Here's an obvious example. It says ANOVA can be seen as an extension of the t-test for more than two groups. More or less that is correct. So if you were wondering when to use ANOVA versus t-test, it's when you have more than two groups. It even gives nice summaries here. Let's try something a little more complex. How about something like, what are the differences between formative and reflective measurement approaches in SEM? It explains that it knows what you're talking about. It's SEM, this is what SEM is. And it says there are two different types of measurement, formative measurement models and reflective measurement models, and then explains those differences. For example, in formative, the latent variable is viewed as being formed or caused by its indicators. In this model, indicators do not need to be correlated. Each measure contributes uniquely to the construct and removing an item changes the meaning of the construct. This is exactly correct. Whereas in reflective, this means the latent variable causes changes in the indicators. The latent variable is seen as the underlying cause of the changing changes in indicators. In such a model, indicators are expected to be correlated as they all reflect the same underlying construct and removing an item does not change the meaning of the construct. It just reflects it less reliably. So very good. You can even do something fairly complex like and would I use a variable as a mediator rather than a moderator in SEM? It says they're both important, but mediators explain the relationship between two other variables. It is the mechanism through which an independent variable is able to influence a dependent variable. That is exactly correct. Moderators, on the other hand, is one that affects the strength or direction of the relationship between the independent and dependent variable. This is again exactly correct. In summary, blah blah blah, the choice between using the variable as mediator or moderator depends on the research question, your theoretical understanding of the constructs and the relationships, but this is the information you need in order to decide whether something is a mediator or a moderator. Let's get it to explain it a little bit more simply. So, in very simple terms. Is there, there a way to determine whether a construct should be used as a mediator or a moderator? Here we go. Yes. If you're trying to understand how or why one variable influences another, then you're probably looking at a mediation effect. But if you're trying to understand when or under what conditions one variable has an effect on another, then you're probably looking at moderation effect. This is excellent. I found you can do this for just about anything, even something obscure, like please explain the different, different weighting schemes in smart PLS path factor PCA. Says I know what you're talking about and it even gets PCA correct. It is principal components analysis. It explains each of these and it says when you would want to use them and in practice it depends on what you're trying to accomplish but there it is. Again, it is exactly correct. And if you wanted to know more about any of this stuff, you could always say something like, could you recommend 
some good literature to learn more about these weighting schemes. And here we go. Yep, this is the number one I would have recommended as well. It just keeps on going. So there you go. If you want to learn something about statistics or SEM, ChatGPT is excellent. Now, ChatGPT isn't great at everything yet, but this is one area where it does shine.